Hello, I'm in a random building, and I am hungry. I put my dollar in this vending machine for my mini bag of Cool Ranch Doritos, and the machine stopped on me. The thi- Hmm, this makes me wonder. How long can the Energizer Bunny last? This is a more notorious question than the chicken versus the egg debate. All the commercials state that he just keeps going and going and going. But can he really just keep going and going and going? And after I answer this question, we'll talk about how he is a multi-dimensional, time-traveling, magical bunny with dictatorial tendencies. But anyway, the first question we must answer is, which battery is he powered by? In nearly every commercial, he is seen to have a D battery on either his leg or his back. However, in this commercial, he is shown to be powered by two AA batteries. But since every commercial besides this one, he is powered by a D battery, we're going to go with that. According to Energizer, their D battery can last up to 10 years in storage. Well, the bunny keeps going and going and going. So he's not in storage now, is he? So a D battery in constant use can last about 36 hours and 3 minutes. There we go. We have our answer. Or do we? Well, yes. Yes, actually, technically we do. We do know how long he can last. But do we know what he is capable of? No. And I'm not sure if anyone is. With the logic I am about to provide from various Energizer commercials, I can confidently say Energizer batteries are one of the most powerful items in the universe. That is not an exaggeration. But first, let's do a quick background on the Energizer Bunny. He was created in 1988, a time of floppy disks and leg warmers. He was a parody of one of Duracell's commercials. Duracell is a competing battery company. They're important later on. Nine years earlier, in 1979, Duracell released this commercial. Regular carbon batteries wear out. But depending on the toy, Duracell batteries can last up to six times longer. This commercial would incidentally give birth to its competition's mascot with this Energizer commercial. The others. The fact is, Energizer was never invited to their playoffs because nothing outlasts the Energizer. They keep going and going Stop the bunny, please. and going and... The natural line of thinking would be, hmm, battery company? Pink Bunny. Battery Company? Pink Bunny. How is this legal? Well, Duracell thought the same thing. In 1990, Duracell took Energizer to court. To sum it up real quick, the judge was like, you both get pink bunnies, but Energizer, you can only advertise in America, and Duracell, you can only advertise in Europe and Asia. Probably not what Duracell wanted, but they were stuck with it. Now that Energizer couldn't advertise with the Energizer Bunny in Europe, they created a new character. Mr. Energizer, who is an Energizer battery. Not very original. That's really the only important history. So back to the question at hand. What is the Energizer Bunny capable of? Assuming Mr. Energizer is no different than any other Energizer battery, he essentially powers the Energizer Bunny. So whatever Mr. Energizer is capable of, the Energizer Bunny is capable of as well. So basically, Mr. Energizer and Energizer Bunny are interchangeable. Got it? Good. In this commercial, we see Mr. Energizer burst through the side of a semi-truck with immense speed and power. He then uses his super speed to run across the top of a semi. He then uses a super jump to jump over a bridge. He runs as fast as traffic to then jump onto a car and burst through the sunroof. So what we can gather from this is that Mr. Energizer has super strength, super jumping abilities, and can run at least 60 to 70 miles an hour. So with the logic that Mr. Energizer and Energizer Bunny are pretty much the same thing, Energizer Bunny can also do these things. We also know he can keep this speed without ever slowing down. In this commercial, he outlasts a flock of vultures. Vultures can be in the air for six hours to a time, which is one-sixth of the battery's lifespan. To just further prove the Energizer Bunny's speed, this commercial shows horses and dogs chasing after the Energizer Bunny. Horses can run 44 miles an hour and dogs can run between 15 and 20 miles an hour. Once again, the Energizer Bunny tires the animals out before he even breaks a sweat. Before I get to the part where the Energizer Bunny is a multi-dimensional, time-traveling dictator, let me tell you about his villain encounters and Supervolt. Supervolt is a fictional battery company that tries to steal the battery on the Energizer Bunny's back. In order to do this, they enlist some pretty popular villains, including Darth Vader, Wile E. Coyote, 
the Wicked Witch of the West, Dracula, King Kong, and Boris Badenov and Natasha Fatal. I don't know how they got a hold of these villains, or how they brought them over from their own fictional worlds to ours, but they did. As it turns out, Supervolt is a super doo-doo company that doesn't make very good batteries. As a result of this, none of these villains succeed in stealing the battery from the bunny. Darth Vader's Supervolt-powered lightsaber loses battery power, while E. Coyote's Supervolt-powered gadgets run out of power, and Boris and Natasha's laser gun thingy runs out of power from the Supervolt batteries. As for King Kong, the Wicked Witch, and Dracula, the Energizer Bunny just kind of got lucky with them being incompetent, with the Witch and Dracula killing themselves, and a lucky window shut from this lady, killing King Kong. So why did Supervolt want the battery on the Energizer Bunny's back? Was it to just steal it and market it as their own? No. I'd have to guess no. Because the following commercials provide evidence that the Energizer Bunny can not only travel through time, but can also travel through dimensions. I have a guess as to why he can do this. Magic. In this commercial, this Indiana Jones knockoff, who I am going to call Illinois Janes, finds a genie in a lamp. He gets three wishes. We don't care about the first two, but his final wish is long life, and thus he is turned into the Energizer Bunny. This is potentially where the Energizer Bunny's life starts. I don't know. It could also be a second Energizer Bunny into the world. I don't know that either. This timeline is already confusing enough, I'm not going to introduce a second Energizer Bunny. So let's just say, for ease's sake, this is the Energizer Bunny we have been following this whole time, and he is in fact, magic. This said magic would explain why he can power a spaceship. What kind of energy this ship requires is beyond me. I couldn't find any research about these horribly CGI aliens. Perhaps this spaceship is how he got to Darth Vader. With these magical abilities, he was also able to travel to the North Pole. This serves no purpose to my story, I just wanted to add it. He was able to enter the second dimension and become 2D. In this other commercial, he made it into a knockoff Mario game, which is also the second dimension. This begs the question, maybe the Energizer Bunny isn't multidimensional, but instead, there is a 3D Energizer Bunny and a 2D Energizer Bunny. Am I digging too deep? Probably. Here he is going through the Bermuda Triangle. I don't know what this commercial implies, and I think it's best we don't look further into it. As for time travel, well, it's not explained how he got there, but he's there. This fact is detrimental. He has the power to change history at will. We could only hope he has no bad intent. Maybe he is trying to go back in time to the very moment before Illinois Janes was turned into the Energizer Bunny. Maybe. He is going to change the outcome of the Duracell lawsuit and switch it so there is no Duracell bunny. Or maybe, just maybe, he already has switched what he wanted. Maybe in a past reality, Energizer batteries sold poorly and Duracell was the king of batteries. Maybe he switched that reality. We will never know. We just can hope he doesn't have any intent on becoming some dictator or something, right? Right? Well, here's where I stretch it a bit. But Energizer boasts themselves as the best battery. Using this logic, anything Duracell can do, Energizer can do better, right? I mean, technically, that is what that would mean. So, if the Duracell bunny could run at 75 miles an hour, the Energizer bunny could do 76 miles an hour. I know, stick with me here. The Duracell bunny can make electronics sentient just by talking to them which would mean the Energizer Bunny could also do that. If the Energizer Bunny had malintent, this could be worrisome. Duracell also has the power to power an RC truck that has the strength to tow a real truck. I know I mentioned super strength earlier, but whoa. This is all not a big deal, right? The Energizer Bunny has only ever shown to help people, and even if he wanted to harm, what is truly the worst he could do? Well, I have left one commercial out. It scares me the most. He has control of the power grid. In this commercial, he powers an entire city. While his actions in the video are for the betterment of the city people, at the same time, he can control when and who gets power, which in theory could be bad. All of this is hypothetical. The Energizer Bunny has never shown any evil intent, but you don't know what's behind those sunglasses. So, what if something had to be done about the Energizer Bunny? Can you kill him? Yes. Wait. No. Yes? In 1989, 
none other than David Letterman did something. Okay. Wonder, wonder, wonder what he's doing here. Is, is that starting to get on your nerves? A little bit. He never stopped. He never stopped. No, they never stopped because of the battery. He's energizing. Did he leave us in a huff? Oh, oh no! Just like a chicken, he still lives without a head. Actually, I think all you'd have to do is take the battery out. I mean, that makes the most sense. Or perhaps just wait the oddly specific 36 hours and 3 minutes for his battery to die, and then don't change it. Well, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, subscribe for more, because I make funny videos like this one every week. Oh. Look at that. He keeps going and going and going and going and going. <laughs>